We do have some breaking news to report. Remember, we have been following this story all week out of Alabama where this inmate it was set to be executed tonight using a new and novel method, nitrogen gas. Well, this is what we know. You see a photo of the inmate right there. His name, Kenneth Smith. He was convicted of a 1988 murder for hire. He's a rare prisoner who has already survived one execution attempt. Back in November of 2022, Alabama officials aborted his execution by lethal injection after struggling for hours to insert an intravenous lines needle in his body. Well, under the new protocol, which was announced in a heavily redacted form back in September, officials will restrain Smith in a gurney and strap a commercial industrial safety respirator mask to his face. A canister of pure nitrogen will be attached to the mask in a process intended to deprive him of inhaling oxygen. Now, there have been many stays involved in this case uh, and including an 11th hour one as well that has just been denied by our top court, the Supreme Court, here as well. We are learning right now, according to Shannon Bream there in Washington, SCOTUS will not stop the nitrogen gas execution set for tonight in Alabama. Uh, three justices dissented in the case, Justices Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, and Katanji Brown Jackson were the three dissenting justices. I want to put this tweet up here from Charles Geidner. Uh, he is with the Law Dork blog, uh, and he has a screenshot of the ruling that literally just came down saying the Supreme Court will not stop Alabama from trying to execute Kenneth Eugene Smith by nitrogen gas. And you see there the decision was over the dissents of the three liberal justices, Sotomayor, Kagan, and Brown Jackson as well. Uh, you also see from Josh Gaunt there at WBRC, SCOTUS denying Kenneth Smith's stay of execution request. And another photo uh, of the white van carrying media witnesses that will go to Holman Prison to witness this execution, the first to use nitrogen gas. Alabama has called it the most painless and humane method of execution known to man and says that Smith should lose consciousness within a minute or two and die soon after. Remember, this will be now the second attempt to execute Smith after that botched one back in November of 2022. Uh, and so opponents of capital punishment, including the UN human rights experts, have said the method amounts to experimenting on humans and could merely injure him without killing him or lead to a tortuous death there. Let's go back to his mugshot you see right there as we have to now wait to see when this execution will happen. Just today, Smith had asked the US Supreme Court to halt the execution so that justices can consider an appeal. It was challenging a decision by the 11th Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals. Uh, and so now we finally have an answer in this as well that SCOTUS will not stop the nitrogen gas execution set for tonight in Alabama. Remember, this 11th hour stay uh, was somewhat of an intervening factor because the execution was scheduled for last hour at the top of the hour. Uh, so now we are an hour delayed from this execution and the Supreme Court giving the green light, not stopping this controversial execution that is so controversial because it will be the first there in Alabama and I believe nationwide to use nitrogen gas.